three, two, one. Hey everybody, this is Heather Susan Vivian Kingsley. I figured I would share some of my favorite bathroom stuff because there are some bath line products that are just some of the most amazing products that I've ever used. And I'm one of those girly girls, as much as I hate to say it, I truly love my bath time. And you guys probably wonder what we do in our bath time, but this is what Heather does in her bath time because this is truly amazing. So. I'm always looking to soak my my bones and soak my muscles. So this is a really great product. Um, Pasha bulk salts. You can pick them out yourself. You can scoop them out yourself however much you want. So it's a really good product um, if you just want just a very small amount. But if you want larger amounts, you can get bigger bags and stuff like that. Um, but this one is specifically for lavender and tonight my biggest thing that I want to do is I just really want to relax So one of the things that really helps you relax before you go to bed is using lavender. It is a wonderful smell It is um, very calm and smooth and just really um, Allows you just to relax and that's really important if you're trying to relax. So I used a little bit of this earlier um, I just kind of sprinkle it in here like this right before my bath and I don't want to put too much in here because what I don't want to do is dry my skin out really bad. So normally what I'll do is I'll use about maybe a half a cup. And if it starts to dry out my skin a little bit, I might use anywhere between like a quarter cup to a half a cup. It's usually about a half a cup if I'm taking a bath. If, if I'm trying to soak my feet, I try and um, use it maybe a quarter a cup instead of a half a cup. It just depends on how sore your feet are because Epsom salt is the most amazing, amazing property as far as it, it allowing you to soak the muscles and relax the muscles. And um, it's just really got some great healing properties. So 100% natural soak, mineral enriched, culinary grade salts, pure essential oils, Epsom salt based. So, and it's one of the things that I do like is just that it's an Epsom salt base. It's not all just Epsom salt. So the other thing that I love is, um, let's see, it, it's made with Epsom salt, culinary grade uh, salts. We just said that, blah, blah, blah. The eth uh, ethically sourced ingredients, no artificial colors, parabens, or sulfates. Ways to use Pasha salts, I just explained some of that to you. Um, you can also add olive oil or grapeseed oil for moisturizing your body and um, for, for a scrub and it works great. So you really wanna um, just use just this if you're just trying to relax, but you do wanna keep it out of the reach of kids and that is very important. And if you are pregnant or nursing or on medication, consult your physician before using. It is recommended to use a small amount dissolved in water for first time use. Increased amount as desired and enjoy. And if skin irritation occurs, you're gonna wanna discontinue the use. Very, very important, very important. Okay, so we're moving on from the salt because the salt is in here. It's been in here and guess what my body feels Wonderful. So we're gonna go move on to the next thing. We're done with the salt. Done. All right. So next, I've got this oil, and this is one of my favorite oils. It is a signature lavender essential oil, and it's Body Serene Day Spa and Salon. Um, the woman who makes this is phenomenal. Uh, she makes just these amazing scents. And so this is one of my favorites. And what I'll usually do is I'll put in like four drops, maybe five drops. But again, I'm using a lot of lavender, so I don't need to overwhelm my, myself. Um, I don't need to smell like some kind of like perfumed, overly perfumed lady. I hate that. I don't know if you've been out in, in the uh, stores and ever experienced that, but there's nothing like getting a waft of something that you just wish you just didn't have. And I'm not talking about chewing on someone's, you know, um, fart. It's like, no. Anyway, all right, moving on from that. <laughs> moving on. All right, so we've got the next thing we have is this froth bomb the froth bomb it's a froth bomb um pasha makes this amazing froth bomb and i'm just gonna read this it is it is basically your purchase helps fuel livelihoods worldwide 
through clean water, initiatives, and small-scale uh, soap shops. And this place is awesome because really it's one of the best products again that I've ever used. I love the colors. I think the colors are, are really amazing. I mean, when you're when you're um, uh, the packaging is is pretty nice because it's not something that's falling apart. Um, you can tell that it's not falling apart. So let me get to the bottom of this. It opens really easy. The bottom like that. Kind of tear it off. Toss off what you don't need. Get in here and get some more. And what I do is I try and unravel it like that. Just kind of keep pulling to the right or the left depending on which way it's coming off. So you have a really beautiful design actually. And this is like one of the coolest things about taking a bath and like just really enjoying your relaxing and if you see something like this I mean it's actually if you take the time to really appreciate it it's actually pretty damn cool um I think this was actually hand painted in here the smell oh my god it smells so good it is like almost like a kind of a weird sandalwood fruity smell it's kind of hard to explain um, I don't much care for a too fruity of smells because I just don't go for that, but this is definitely, definitely cool. So let's see what happens when you drop it in the water. Oh, it's a frothy balm. Let's hold it. What's happening to the face? The face is gone. Okay, we have no face. Look at the color. Oh my god, look at that bubbling. That is freaking cool. Look at that. This is like one of the coolest things. When you get stuff like this, it's just kind of fun to play with. I see a little gold coming off of that. All right, let's try. Wow. Like, so neat. Oh, there's a face. You can sort of see it. It's like fizzing like crazy. I just took the nose off. I love when you have color in with your bath bombs because I feel like it's more worth the money, honestly. These suckers are kind of expensive. And I don't even think that people should have to spend that much. They're, they are actually pretty easy to make, and I'd really like to share that with everybody, too. But honestly, these are some of the coolest ones. I can't make these, and I probably, well, I probably could. I could try, um, but certainly not match their expertise here because this is just amazing. Okay, so the smell that is coming off of this is lavender. It is a lot. Oh my goodness, that smells so good. It's lavender and chamomile. Wow. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. I love the 